Of course, in the news, there are many things to talk about that are relevant today, uh, relevant to the Mandanas ruling. There is, of course, charter change. You were an advocate of federalism in the, in the past. Maybe we can begin there. How, how does the Mandanas ruling tie into some of the things that we're seeing now in the news? Well, first, thank you very much for having me here in your business and politics program. I, I think this is very helpful in really uh, conveying to our people the need for this uh, Supreme Court decision really in uh, establishing a government that would really embody the ideals and aspirations of our people, mm -hmm. uh, following the basic principles of uh, subsidiarity, uh, which is expressed in uh, government, in having uh, a central government and autonomous mm -hmm. local governments, mm -hmm. local governments being uh, the provinces, cities, municipalities, and barangays. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, local autonomy means uh, giving the uh, local governments the facilities, the resources uh, that would enable, myself included, province of Batangas, one of the 81 provinces that we have, the means so that we will be able to deliver basic services which have been devolved, decentralized. Mm -hmm. These are the services which uh, have been determined to be better done by the local governments who are closer to the people. You're talking, of course, about the implementation of the local government code, is that right? Huh? Uh, yes. So they... The local government code is the law uh, that implements the articles in our constitution related to local autonomy. Uh, and one of them uh, is really to give the local governments the means, mm -hmm. specifically financial means. Uh, one of the sections there in that Article 10 in our Constitution, which is the local governments should be given the just share as determined by law. Right. That is the local right. government code. So to so, recap it, and please correct me if I'm wrong, they uh, devolved to you the responsibility, some of the responsibilities. Yes, in, in 1972. But not the means to do the job. Not all the means. <laughs> not all the means, okay. Not all the means. Okay. Uh, and specifically, the one that I've been fighting for, well, since the first time I was governor. Right. Actually, the first Supreme Court decision was really the Mandana's ruling of 2004. Wow. Okay. What we're talking about right so now is the almost 20 years Supreme ago. Court decision. Actually, the Mandana of the same thing. Right. Uh, now, my former classmate in De La Salle University, and uh, who also became governor and congressman, uh, Governor Ted Garcia, okay. also but, but filed another petition okay. to the Supreme Court related also to the base of this uh, provision in the Supreme Court of the Constitution mm -hmm. that the local government should have just share as determined by law. Mm -hmm. So his position was that it should be based on the collection of all national taxes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that was the Garcia. May, may Ted rest in peace. He passed away even before the uh, Supreme Court the, decision right. was uh, became final and executory in 2019. Right. So uh, my case, however, is uh, completely different. Okay. Uh, as I said, I started the fight the first time I was governor, huh? and the first Supreme Court decision was handed, as I mentioned earlier, 2004, which means uh, the base should be released automatically, and there is very specific uh, provision in the local government code that there should not be withholding. Okay. Uh, whatever was collected at uh, that time determined by law to be national internal revenue taxes mm -hmm. that constitute 
uh, all these taxes, they constitute almost 80% okay. of all the national taxes. Okay. Huh? So I discovered, uh, well, practicing and studying and reading, uh, uh, that the local government was not doing that mm -hmm. since the law was passed. Mm -hmm. In, uh, it was passed in, 2000, in 1991 right. for implementation starting January 1992. Since then, they have been withholding, mm -hmm. which means uh, this is what we call the dagdag -dag bawas. <laughs> of, of taxes. Yeah. <laughs> in other words, the amount that should be given to the local government, mm -hmm. binabawasan. Right. They were withholding. Okay. And they, do, they were doing it by issuing uh, circulars and all of mm -hmm. And uh, the amount which I discovered at that time was uh, 60 billion. Wow. So, of course, I talked to it, my fellow governors right. and the other local, but nobody wanted to, to, to fight, the to fight for Malanyang. it. Yeah. So I was really alone okay. uh, uh, when I filed the case. Of course, when I won, Everybody, Everybody was already included. That's right. Uh, and in uh, really, in fairness to President Gloria Macapagalor, I filed my case based on circulars issued during the President uh, uh, era time. Okay. That was where I noticed the withholding of 60 billion. Yeah. Uh, but in 2000, uh, so I filed the case, but it was during the time of. Uh, President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, that uh, the Supreme Court granted my petition. And President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, with uh, Secretary of DBM, Emilia Bunkudin, they uh, right. implemented it. Right. They paid back retroactive, of course, because it was a debt. Right. Uh, Owed it, by the national government to the yes. local government. Yes. Binawasan. Right. Huh? So we, we did not have enough so that we will be able really to perform our responsibility, to discharge our responsibility. These are undevolved services. Right. Uh, of course, when it comes to the national central government services, they continue to that's, that's why right. uh, they should still have 60%. Right. The division in the local government code at that time was already 60-40. Okay. The 60 would be, of course, for the operation of the national government, including of foreign affairs mm -hmm. and the monetary system, mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, uh, preserving national our defense. sovereignty, yeah. uh, national defense, and all this uh, relationship right. on a national level, and determining what would be the services affecting more than one province right. that would make it a national. Right. Okay, so uh, 60 billion, because at that time it was big, in 2004. The local governments agreed that it would be given okay. in installment. Okay. Pa which right. of course for us is okay. Okay. Because so long anyway, as you Yeah, because anyway yeah. we were allowed to borrow. Okay. So that we could catch up. Right. right. Huh? So uh, it was done. It was the sixty billion was paid in seven years. Okay. Now this year is in this year okay. uh, we won well, actually, my case, okay. my case was won in 2018. Okay. There, I said one final because there was no motion for reconsideration. Right. Uh, because there was already a precedent right. and all that. Uh, and it's very clear right. uh, that they were withholding. Right. I, because I found out, I found out thing up this the one of 2018 decision. Uh, when I was in Congress already, mm -hmm. I was in Cong. Right. I was in. I was governor. Ninety-five uh, to two thousand and four, yeah. and then two thousand and four, up to two thousand thirteen, I was in Congress. Right. I became even chairman of the uh, Ways and Means. Yes, I remember. Yes. Yeah. So I clarified it because our party, Liberal Party, was in was in power at that time. Right. That's why I was the chairman of the Ways and Means. And so I brought it up first or right. to the administration. Right. The president was ours, everybody. And we said, look, it's very clear that 
dinas your but the answer to me was uh, <laughs> nakaugali na yan <laughs> tayo na ang gumamit mm -hmm. but i said we were supposed to be matuwid na daan right okay so i continued the fight okay. in congress and but the problem is that I was kicked out as chairman. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I was kicked out of chairman. And, you know, abruptly. Yeah, I remember. So, uh, announced by the president yeah. on, ne on national media and all yeah. that, that I, wa I, had, I was kicked out because I've been fighting for this. You're, yeah, you're uh, making trouble. So, <laughs> the next month, I filed mm -hmm. the case already with the Supreme Court. This time, at the, well, no governor joined me. Ted, no, Ted Garcia joined me a little a year um, la later uh, with his case, and then but there were two mayors. Yeah. Okay, one from Batangas, one from Laguna, and I think I had eight barangays right. uh, with me, barangay captains and with the councillors. Yeah. So in 2018, so I filed the case January of two, 2000. Uh, of the 2012, mm -hmm. so it took six years mm -hmm. that I finally six years and a half because it was July that it came out. So uh, that okay, I was sustained. That really they were not they were really with, they were not including yeah. uh, in the in the base national internal revenue taxes, okay. which was the basis of the 40 percent. Right. So, uh, but. Ted Garcia's case was filed 2013, something like 2014, and uh, his was different. Right, right. His was that, well, the basis should not only be national internal revenue taxes; it should be much broader. Yeah. All the other taxes, yeah. all the national taxes. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. That's very interesting. That's a good recap.